Hello, my name is Joe Miller, and since becoming the Prof's first in-house consultant just over two years ago, I've supported over 100 students from 30 different countries win admission to the best universities in the world. In this video, I'm, to give, I'm going to give you three quick tips on how to master London Business School's interview process. And this covers all of their master's programs, including the MFA, the MAM, and the prestigious MIM. My first career tip is you need a career-driven identity. Bear in mind that LBS prides itself on not only being the best business school in Europe, but also having a 96% employability metric. Therefore, they want candidates who not only show that they know what career they, they seek, but they can also evidence that they have some certainty surrounding that career path, whether it's an internship that you've already secured or in an ideal world, a job. For most of my clients now, I actively organize internships for them so that they tick this box. The second key tip from me is know your weaknesses. In the interview at LBS, so many candidates know their CV and know their strengths, but they don't know their weaknesses. And on the document given to alumni who interview you, there are seven areas that they are asked to probe. And the admissions team at LBS will actually tick two or three of these to ask the interviewer to push further. This includes things like your cultural fit with the university, the quality of your experience, whether or not your career aspirations are realistic, and even your multicultural awareness. If you have not ticked off these weaknesses, the chances are you could come up stuck in that interview. The third and final tip from me to get to mastering the interview at LBS is to find a champion. Throughout the year, throughout the world, LBS offer lots of unique opportunities to meet and greet their recruitment team, their alumni, and even their current students. If you go on their website now, you will find coffee chats in places like New York, Rio, London, and Madrid. Going to those coffee chats, meeting them online, gives you a point of contact who you can stay in communication with throughout the process. I have a rule now with all of my clients, and that is that I put them in touch with one current student who they can talk to, and also a member of the recruitment team. You'll notice on the application that there is actually a text box for you to put these people's names on your application. LBS will actively ask those people about you and whether they endorse your application. And when it comes to the interview at LBS, it is so much more powerful to be able to prove that you're a cultural fit by telling the interviewer that you have already discussed LBS with a current student or with a member of the recruitment team, rather than just saying it without being able to substantiate your answer. So one of the most common questions I have is how can you as a candidate identify your career, especially if perhaps you don't yet know it? For those of you who have worked or interned in the world of finance and consulting, you should think about this career-driven identity like an equity story. This is the milestones, the achievements that you have uh, accomplished that have got you to the point that you're at. And the first task that I get all of my clients to do is to go out there on the internet, whether it be through companies' websites, through LinkedIn, or elsewhere, and find me the person that has the job you want. In your LBS alumni interview, they will pair you with, with someone who is working in your field. Therefore, it is simply not enough to say that you want to be a management consultant or an investment banker. You must go further. Tell me the desk that you want to work on. Tell me the team that you want to work with and tell me the area that you want to specialize in because that's what will set you apart from other candidates. So another popular question that I have from prospective candidates is what will they ask me? 
in, in, the, in the LBS interview. And the truth is, unlike universities like Imperial, where there is a random bank of questions for them to, to pick between, um, the LBS interview is completely at the discretion of the alumni conducting the interview. So it becomes far more of a conversation. However, there are two tips that I would give to any candidate on this. The first is the seven areas they are asked to probe. With our guidance, if you cover off all of those seven areas, you will be relatively well protected in this interview. My second tip on this is treat this as if it were a job interview. And for those of you who perhaps have not interviewed for jobs or, or internships before, we have a six-pronged approach covering the various different types of questions, whether they be motivational, competency, situation-based, or even those horrible brain teasers. That is just a small handful of the tips we at the profs have to help you get into LBS. Ultimately, it is a long process that can take many weeks, if not months. Therefore, if you would like our support in winning your place at LBS, please use the links on the screen now to get in touch. Thank you.